Hi, this is Scott, and today we're doing a thing on linear focusing. Uh, to go over it quick, um, I have mentioned it before, it is a new function that is built into some of the Fuji cameras. Uh, in particular, I'll be testing it on my Fuji X-T3. In this linear uh, focus mode, it's going to help it act more like a traditional um, lens. Um, so maybe we'll get some advantages uh, there for, for use of maybe like a follow focus. Now the other thing is, uh, there is something called uh, focus, or not focus, uh, muscle memory. When you're sitting there turning from A to B and A to B, uh, you, you get a memory uh, between your hand and your mind of where those two spots are. And now you can, by using this muscle memory, uh, you can do point A and point B uh, almost instinctively. But that only works if your focusing is working in a linear fashion. So that's what Fuji's tried to do here, is they've tried to make our focus uh, act more linear, like a mechanically connected lens. And what we'll do is go into this video and see how well that works. Okay, here I have my setup. Um, I have my two blocks and my characters sit on top of them. They are going to be my uh, focus targets. Uh, hopefully in the little uh, window you can see my lens down below with two little stickers on it. Uh, get my hand down there around all this rig. So there's my, my hand down here and I got two little stickers um, that kind of show my focus mark. So right now on that first uh, sticker, that first line, um, that's the S block and as you can see it's in focus. And what I did is I then got the T block in focus and I set up uh, a line there. Now, so perfect world, linear focusing, I would be able to just look at my lens and keep on turning to these lines. And that's kind of how focus pulling uh, works. And the, whoops, hit the ring. So uh, the other part of it is uh, muscle memory. And with linear focusing, uh, as we discussed, you kind of remember where your hand was after you've done it a couple times. So here, let me get my... Okay, so so now I'm, I'm conditioned. I'm just doing this from muscle memory. So it may not be exactly perfect, but even at this F2 aperture that I'm using, uh, you can see I'm pretty much nailing it, and that's just from muscle memory. Now, let's go to that perfect world again and look at the fact we got the S block in perfect focus, but now look at our lines. They are no longer uh, matching up again. So, Fuji's linear focusing is good in a way because it does add to being able to use muscle memory to change focus between two locations, two people, two objects, whatever it may be that you're focusing on. Um, so in that respect, it's positive, and I still think it's a great leap forward. If you, you know, had a focus puller and you thought you maybe could put a wheel and a gear on here and make marks or, or even make marks on your lens and constantly match them, you develop an amount of error. So if you only if you if you only do like a few takes, it may work just fine. Because here's one of the things I can do. Yeah. So here I'm going to put it in autofocus. I'm going to line up my mark, and I'm going to set AFS focus by pressing my screen. So now the S block should be in focus. And as we can see, now that I put it back to manual, focus peaking comes up, looks pretty good. So now when I turn my lens, 
uh, back to the T block, it's in focus again. And again, there's twice, we're still good. There's three times, we're still good. Fourth pull, we're still good. Fifth pull, it's still okay. Six, looks like it might be drifting a little bit. Seven, eh. And now we're pretty much off. And it's one of those things that I think if you do it faster, um, it's more apt to drop. So here I'll go back to uh, visually putting it to my marks. And as we can see, we're not really working anymore. Let's get S block in focus. And as you can see, we've, we've gone way off our marks. Uh, so the takeaway is linear focusing works. Um, and, and there are some workarounds, so you, you can make marks, you can, you can make use of it, but you have to be careful uh, because it is going to um, get off over time. Um, and that's just the way it is. Well, there you have it. Uh, regrettably, it does not work perfectly, uh, but I think for uh, muscle memory and stuff, uh, it, it has its... Uh, benefits and uh, kudos to Fuji because you know somebody's got to start the ball rolling so so now this has kind of opened the door that okay we can make our lenses act better perhaps we need to put in uh, better encoders when they make them um, so that they're more precise uh, so we don't have this uh, um, change over time uh, this, this kind of slipping of the uh, focus position uh, because it's either dropping uh, sense steps or, or whatever, or maybe it's at the motor. Uh, I don't know where the uh, the problem comes in that we, we lose our position, um, but I'm sure that they can uh, come with ways to make better uh, lenses if they start thinking that way. And now that our DSLRs are becoming so uh, video-centric as well, I think we'll see a lot more concentration in trying to make that end, the focus by wire, work better, work more traditionally, more predictably. Uh, so is linear focusing good? I tend to think it is. As far as my testing, I did the 35 f2, I did the 18 to 55, um, and I found that it was they, they acted in a similar manner. Um, but maybe something like the 16 to 528 being a h even higher level lens, uh, perhaps it acts a little bit different. Maybe it senses the movement different. Uh, it would be great to test that, that out uh, one day because obviously the lens is one of the variables in this. So there you have it. Linear focusing is interesting and I think it's a very positive thing, uh, but it's not a perfect thing. So, hope this was helpful to you. Hope you found it interesting. Uh, if you can, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you would like, you can uh, give me a donation with um, my PayPal link that's uh, down below. Uh, see you next time.